Welcome to another vlog. We made it to Mobile, Mobile, Mobile. We want to say Mobile, but I think the people here pronounce it in Mobile, Alabama. Well, we're actually across the channel, um, and this is closer to Spanish Fort, Alabama, Sweet Home, Alabama. We made it here. We're going to be here for a few days. Um, Mobile, actually, if that's how you pronounce it, actually looks like a pretty decent city. They have tons of museums. They have one shaped like a ship of sorts, which would be cool to go to. Um, so we have a few things that we would love to do while we're here, but we're going to be only here for three days, two nights, so one full day. I was just helping the kids unload their bikes so that they can ride while we unpack, but that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to, um, my husband's doing everything outside, like he connects to the sewer and everything. And I'll do everything in here. Make sure nothing's in the way of the slides. Once everything is level outside, I'll go ahead and push the slides out and then kind of get everything out and set it up. Home sweet home. Our little tiny home. So that's kind of like our, um, what we do, our little routine. Thought I would include that in today's vlog. My husband said the RV is all level now. And I'm gonna go ahead and push the slides out. Just gotta make sure there's nothing behind the slides. All right, unlock. You said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers, and you'll find. And I'm gonna go explore a little bit with my husband. They have a laundry on. This is a state park, Alabama State Park. And it's very rare that state parks have laundry sites. When we were in Mandeville, we didn't have any on site, which we do sometimes drive out to do laundry, um, but it's so much more convenient when it's on site. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go right now and walk, and I'm gonna check out their laundry room and then uh, see how much it costs. Check around, check the grounds a little bit, and then hopefully throw in my loads of laundry because my whole laundry thing is so full. Oh, it's cute here. You can even see the city in the back. I'll show you guys when we get closer to the water because you can't see it right now through the trees. There's some laundry. I was just FaceTiming my parents. They called me, but I walked over to this little dock. So we're somewhere way back there. We can't really see the lake from where we are. We got some mobile, mobile, mobile. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask some of these residents. God bless you. I'm gonna have to ask some of these people, locals, how to exactly pronounce it. But really nice. Seems like a little hidden gem of a park. This is Mayor State Park. So from first impressions, we really like it. I believe it's pronounced Mayor. Um, a M E A H E R. It seems over there chilling. And then they have the highway right behind, you can see. Good, well, it's good afternoon now. It is the next day, we're gonna go explore, um, well, we asked a few people, how do you pronounce it? Because we say mobile, but it's like mobile, like automobile. So that's the way that I remember it, mobile. 
seems like a bigger city so we're gonna since we're right there we're gonna go ahead and explore it for a little bit kids are all done with homeschool my husband is grilling some chicken kebabs for lunch we're gonna eat real quick and then head on down there maybe walk around maybe look at they have a ship that is shaped like a ship that's shaped like a museum they have a museum that is shaped like a ship so maybe check that out i don't know if we'll have enough time to actually visit the museum but even like walk the grounds we'll see we've never we don't know what to expect so we're just gonna head down there and kind of like take it as we explore and then kind of take the camera along as well and show you guys little tidbits how good this looks i want to show you guys my ootd because it is a fully amazon ootd including my bag i have a feeling somebody's probably like watching me from their rv and they probably think like what a weirdo <laughs> that's okay um i have this bodysuit which is similar to like the skims my cap my shoes and my levi jeans and adidas bag all from amazon i took out an open and wrote in my story Spotting for some gators. We see one right there chilling in the water. We're from New York, so for us to see alligators, it's like, oh, look, it's an alligator. <laughs> but there's actually a few here in the water. I think I see, I see at least two right now. And then my husband went on the dock with the kids to see if he can scout some more. So, yeah, definitely can't go swimming here. That's for sure. And I kept walking on down. texture here reminds me so much of New Orleans. Look how cute. Like this right here with the little planters on the balcony. And then the cafe, Mobe Beignet is right there on the, on the corner. Mobe Beignet, it looks so cute. So cute. This way to beignets. This oh, I didn't even notice their coffee cups have Psalm 34.8 on it. That is so cool. But such a cute little view. Got some coffees and I'm waiting on the beignets. I think they make them fresh. Which I would hope they make them fresh. And my husband's just waiting. It's such a cute little spot. Look at these delicious goodies. My husband's gonna go get a knife so he can cut them in half. But yummy, yummy. These remind me of ponchiki. So what my mom used to make. Very similar. They're like little, look like little pillows that you fry in oil. And then you put powdered sugar on it. I guess this is like the American version of ponchiki. If you're Slavic, Russian, Ukrainian, but Russian, like Polish, then you probably know what ponchiki are. But they're very similar. I guess it's just like a different cultural variation of a uh, similar recipe. We're going to share them. Look at this girl's going to town. No, I got it. These are so much better than the other place you went to in New Orleans. Okay. Mm. These remind me, they remind really? me so much of ponchiki. Try one. So much of ponchiki. Try it. You're gonna love it. Thank you. This one that we wanted to go inside of, but they only have, yeah, Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. This is the one that we wanted to go inside, but they only have tours on Thursday and certain cold? dates. Yeah, they do mass though, but that's a beautiful building. We decided to stop by the USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park. Parking is $5 and then you can go on the ship. She said it's a real ship, but they use it as a museum now. I think it's $13 per adult or something. I can't remember what she said. One of my husband's favorites right here. We went to an aircraft museum of the United States Navy. I think it was something in Daphne. Actually, that was in Dayton, Ohio. They had a ton of different aircraft all the way from the Wright brothers to like presidential airplanes that carried the Kennedy, Kennedy's body even and other 
planes that carried presidents as well. So that was really cool because you could actually walk through some of them. So that was a fun experience. Um, if you guys are anybody's ever in Dayton, Ohio. This is basically as close as you can get if you're not going to buy tickets to go inside. Um, still pretty close. And then if you buy tickets, you can obviously walk. You can see people walking on it. Walking the dock a bit so that we can see the ship from the other side. Here's a view. Again, you can see the city in the back. I feel like I'm ready to go home. My husband's like, wow, so cool. <laughs> Here's another view of the ship for anyone interested. I believe this is Mobile Bay, if I'm not mistaken. Like all of this, and it goes out into the Gulf eventually, which we're actually gonna go to the Gulf side of Alabama. Where's the sun? Because I feel like this lighting is absolutely awful. And explore, like kind of like visit the beach. It seems like the beaches in Alabama are absolutely gorgeous, like white sandy Destin type beaches which i had no idea all of them i had such beautiful beaches Alrighty, we made it home we went to stop by walmart so i'm gonna go and pack the groceries um right now and then i also picked up some clothes for the kids i feel like walmart has really great super affordable basics the ac is on by the way my husband went to go throw some clothes in the wash not clothes um the comforter like the kids one it's not feather it has like that white cottony stuff inside so it's very lightweight um, and the laundry here, they have a laundry on site, is $1.50 for the laundry, for the washer, and then a dollar for the dryer, which is probably the cheapest we've ever seen. And it's on site, it's so rare for state parks to have laundromats, so taking advantage of that. Um, but I picked up some cute clothes for the kids, some, the boys section, usually the boys section, it's like hit or miss, but again, they have some really great basics for like under $10. And then this is the brand Wonder Nation, which is the Walmart brand. And then I found this shirt here. I thought it was cute. Although I have to say, he, we were driving and um, his pad was charging. He has like a fire tablet, so he couldn't play any games on it. And he's like, I'm bored. So this says, never bored, life is too much fun. I'm gonna make him wear that shirt next time we're traveling. And then they had some really nice, seemed like really good quality. These are like $7.98 or something, I think. And it's also from the brand Wonder Nation and they're tag free. And they had really nice colors. And here's the fabric up close. I don't know, I just thought it was really nice for $7.48 actually. So I got like this green one for him. And then I picked up these two right here. This one's like a nice taupey brown tan color. And this one's like a nice, almost like a seafoam green gray of sorts. So just really nice basic, something that you'd probably find at Zara almost similar to what I would say you could find at Zara or H&M for under $10, $7.48, so not bad in my opinion. I just wanted to show you guys all the outfits paired out and kind of like how I paired them as I was buying them. Like this right here I got for Josiah. And then these I just got as basics to have to wear with all his different shorts that he has. And these three outfits I got for Eloise. They have two different kinds of shorts. They have ones that have a little tie in the front and then these that just have the pocket. And they're very, very soft. These are a little bit softer than these, but just like really cute um, outfits. Like this one has like a little tie front. Just like great for every day for kids. And then Aviana is like, she loves like athletic, sporty type wear. So for her, this is like right up her alley. She picked out all of these right here. Some of her favorite colors. So yeah, just like really great affordable finds, I would say. Check out with Walmart. They sometimes have really good things for kids. I got a bathing suit for Aviana since we're gonna be heading to the beach tomorrow. So exciting, which is why we stopped by Walmart because we needed to get, we don't know if there's a Walmart there, we didn't check, but usually on the beach, it's pretty limited in terms of grocery stores. So we got like fruits and stuff like that stocking up. So I'm gonna put that all that away. But I think I'm gonna finish this vlog here. This area, this park, my husband said this was like his favorite park. Sorry if the AC is bothering you guys. But my husband said this was his favorite park that he's been to. And we've been to quite a few state parks. I mean, it's very clean, very quiet, it's pretty small. You can go fishing, they have hiking trails, they have laundry on site. They don't have a playground, but it's close to Mobile, Alabama. So you can go downtown. The beignets were so good. Mobe beignet, walk around a bit. Um, we didn't really do too much walking. We went straight to the USS Alabama ship museum of sorts and explore there. So I mean, pretty decent area. We were we thought we would just like pass through and keep going, but we ended up um, kind of exploring this area a little bit and then decided to head down to the beach because the beach looks really nice. So I'll take you guys along 
there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answer.